Good morning, John Glenn. Today is Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. I'm Shane. And I'm Major. And this is The View from the Falcon's Nest. The St. Joseph County Public Library Shoe Design Contest. Fresh new kicks has begun. This year's contest is for ages 9 through 18, grades 3 through 12. And entries will be accepted through Friday, February 4th. Winners will be announced Friday, February 11th. A new source of Indiana information finds an unusually, unusual dichotomy in our three John Glenn counties. Although household income rose in Laporte, Marshall, and St. Joseph counties in, from 2010 to, to 2020, home ownership has actually declined. That's actually according to Indiana Housing Community Development Authority. Its data indicates home ownership dropped from 71.5% to 68.2% in St. Joseph. 75.4 to 72.3 in Laporte, and 78.3 to 74.7 in Marshall. The data indicates that home ownership among minority groups is rising. Today during homeroom, the counselors will be meeting with all sophomores and interested juniors about next year's vocational programs. These career and technical education programs provide a great opportunity for students to leave high school with technical skills and experiences for their future careers while still in high school. Many of these programs provide dual credits from Ivy Tech or give an opportunity to earn industry credits for certifications. Sophomores and juniors can refer to an email from Ms. Forsman for more information. Now here's the weather with Sophie. Hello everyone, today is January 11th, 2022. It is frigid with clouds outside with 25 degrees but a real feel of 10 and 12 mile per hour winds coming from the south. Now for our three day forecast. Wednesday will be 33, mostly cloudy, with a low of 24. Thursday will be a high of 36, mostly sunny with some clouds, and a low of 28. And Friday will be 35, cloudy, with a low of 24. Now back to the main desk for sports. Glenn extended their season best start to 11 wins in a row with a comfortable 51 to 38 win over Triton on Friday night. Glenn battled through a cold shooting night from the three-point line, but made up for 15 made free throws and their trademark stifling defense. Triton brought in a really talented squad who battled to keep the game close, but the length and timely turnovers caused by the Falcons proved to be the big factor. Rice and Hannah was perfect 5 for 5 from the line, while Silas Kaser added 4 steals and 6 rebounds. Scoring from the Falcons side was Bryce and Hannah with 15, Silas Kaser with 14, Noah Drivelbiz with 10, Joe Delinsky with 7, Joe Shue with 3, and Jack Porter with 2. The John Glenn Varsity girls improved their record to 10 and 6 with a big win over New Prairie on senior night. Leading the way for the Falcons was Lauren Fansler with 17, Jesse Delasco with 15, and Mia Hooten with 10. The girls are back in action tonight at home against Oregon Davis. Glenn may go up in the polls for a second straight week after the Falcons raised their record to 11 and 0 on Friday. The boys will face their stiffest test this year on New Year when they travel to South Bend, St. Joe. The, the JV tip-off is at 6 p.m. St. Joe is fresh off a win in the Twin Lakes Holiday Tournament. The girls, meanwhile, will host an unusual doubleheader tonight. The JV will play Kankakee Valley at 6 p.m. The varsity will host Oregon Davis at 7.30 p.m. On Thursday, the girls will also be on the road to face South Bend, St. Joe. Our wrestling team is prepping for a huge meet this Saturday. The Mat Men will be traveling to Elkhart for a Northern Indiana Conference Tournament. The meet will be held at the West Gym. It begins at 9 a.m. Now here's the lunch with Sophie. Hello everyone. Today's lunch will be Colby cheese omelet or fish sandwich, crispy cubed potatoes, celery sticks, fresh fruit, biscuit stick and gravy, and a peanut butter cup. That's all we have for you today. Have an amazing day.